Hello, um, welcome to week seven's video for English 3 Online. Um, so we are going now. We are really in this research process. Um, and I want to talk to you about what you're doing this week and how it fits in with what you did last week and the week before. Um, so if you're confused, this is really for you. Um, and if you're not confused, I would still watch this because it's informational. Um, so um, you're watching this hopefully on Monday, October 5th. And um, what you need to know, see I'm pre-recording this back on the 30th. But um, this is when the video will drop October 5th. Hopefully you're watching that and it is today. Um, I am not at school. Okay, I'm taking a day for myself. Um, so, you know, if you email me, I might answer, but I'm not at work today. Okay, so if I'm able to answer, I will, but if I'm not able to answer, I will get back to you at the latest on um, Tuesday, the very next day. Anyway, so um, what we've been doing, so if you look back at all the way back to week five, this is when you got introduced to your research project. This is what we're working towards. Okay, I talked about this in last week's video. We're working towards an annotated bibliography and a reflection assignment. You need to look at this and see what we're doing um, and what the point of all this is. You need to know your end game. So um, this is informational for you. You need that. Um, let's see. In week five, you practiced with this um, CRAP um, acronym and content subjectivity. So the difference between being objective and subjective. Objectivity is when you are completely unbiased. Your opinion does not show through. Subjectivity is when you have some bias. So the reason why you're having to look at content subjectivity with your sources is to make sure that it's not biased and it's objective. You are presenting research, you're not arguing anything. Okay, this is not an argument paper. This is a research project we're working towards. Okay, so that's why I'm asking you to go through these things. This is the same setup as what you did last week in week six. Okay, in week five, you practiced with it with a random New York Times article, whatever you wanted. And in week six, I gave you your first one for your first source. Okay. Now, the format's a little different, but it's the same thing. So I ask you to choose a source using your research question and complete the CRAP test and content subjectivity. Okay. So this is purposeful to make you think about, um, you know, what are the intentions behind language? Is it too extreme or absolute? Yada, yada. And then at the very end, step three um, is where you draft your rough draft, okay, for your annotated bibliography, which is what we're working towards. So this week, last week you had one. This is just to get your feet wet, and this was 25 points. This week, I need you to find two more, okay? So notice this is Monday through Wednesday to work on source two, and then Wednesday through Friday. So I would spend the second half of your time Wednesday starting this and finishing up on Friday. So you're doing the same thing for sources two and three. I really hope you picked a topic that you like, okay? Or this can get very, you can get really bogged down with this and bored, frankly. So hopefully you have picked a topic that um, you're interested in, something that you really do wanna learn more about and research as we're going along. You may have noticed that this has popped up here at the top of your classwork stream. Um, I dropped all the lessons that we've had this unit right here. <clears throat> Many of you are asking me questions, um, which is great. And I want you to ask me questions and I want to know if you're confused. Um, but a lot of times those answers can be found right here. So if you have questions about a research question, you still haven't been able to form it, check out this lesson. And if it doesn't answer your question, please email or text me on Remind, okay? If you're unsure still about your topic, going back that far, um, look at this. If you're not sure how to select sources, look at this one, okay? So these are all lessons you have done, supposedly. So I encourage you to look at these um, if you need help with those. And you can always email me, and you are never a bother to me, okay? Um, my job is to help you if you need it. So, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Um, 
These are called graphic organizers because they organize information for you. And so when we start writing our formal annotated bibliography, you'll be looking at this um, and pulling from here, okay, to put in your bibliography. Okay, so um, I'm really tired. I'm sure you can tell right now, like I'm no makeup and I'm kind of slouchy at the moment. And I know you guys are tired too. I know, you know, we're in the middle of this nine weeks there's a pandemic going on, for goodness sakes. You know, we have a lot going on in our lives. Um, I'm here for you if you need it. And I'm taking a day Monday to take care of myself. So it's okay to take time. I caution you to be careful taking too much. Um, you know, give yourself some breaks and spread work out. But if you get too far behind with this, you may be past the point of no return. Okay, so... Make sure that you're keeping up as we go along. It's okay to be a week behind, but when we start to get two or three weeks behind, it becomes too much. Um, if your grade is below 70, you should be in my class. Now, I haven't been psycho about that because, again, we are dealing with a um, health crisis right now. But, um, yeah, I'm looking for you. Okay, you should be here. I'm emailing you and, um, you know, pretty soon closer to parent teacher conferences, which are, let's see, if we're here October 5th next week, right here. If you're failing, I got to call home. Okay, so just, you know, take care of yourself. But on the other hand, make sure that you are keeping up with school. Um, and if you're unable to do that, communicate with me and we'll work something out. So. Anyway, I miss you guys. I really like this class. Um, I wish I could see you in person more, but this is just the nature of what we signed up for. So we'll keep trucking. Um, I'm going to change the way I teach next nine weeks. It's not going to be so transactional like it is now where I just post stuff and you read it and complete an assignment. I'm going to try to do more um, videos for you, instructional videos, because I think it'll help as we continue. Anyway, I hope you have a great week and take care of yourself. Give yourself some grace, but also get your work done. See you later. Bye.